Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about flat coated retrievers. My name is Brittany. I make content regarding my dog, Maverick. He is actually a flat coated retriever himself. You can probably hear him in the background. And he's my emotional support dog, so I make a lot of videos about that. I make a lot of videos on mental health and just my life in general. If you guys are interested in any of those subjects, feel free to subscribe. And also, I want you guys to comment your dog and what the breed of your dog is, if it is a flat coat retriever or not, because I just, I love dogs. This is a dog community. So let's get started. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine bright above. So first we're going to talk about what is a flat coated retriever. Well a flat coated retriever, it looks like this. <laughs> and I'm sure if you're watching this video you probably already know what a flat coated retriever looks like, especially since it was in the thumbnail, but um, it does look like this. It's going to be either a fully black or liver, so like a dark red sort of colored dog, um, a retriever. So it's got that uh, sport look to it. So flat coats, among other retriever breeds, were developed in the mid-19th century in response to the increased popularity of shooting birds for sport. And with that, they did have an increased need to retrieve those birds once they hit the ground, so the dog would go get the bird, basically. Um, now, the actual creation, and pretty much for all retrievers, Spaniels, water dogs, and uh, settlers are typically what's going to build a retriever. Uh, but specifically with the flat coat, it's St. John's water dogs from Newfoundland, water spaniels, and possibly collies were used specifically to develop this breed. So flat coated retrievers are extremely active dogs and they need a lot of attention, a lot of exercise. It's said that they need at least 40 minutes of exercise per day. Um, you know, they, they need a lot. They're very, I would say, um, they're pretty low maintenance dogs, except for energy. They need a lot of attention. They're an active and multi-talented breed. They do have a strong desire to please people as well. This was why they make a really good family pet. Um, they also do make good service dogs as well. So they are non-hypoallergenic. If you guys have ever heard of hypoallergenic dogs, typically they don't shed very much, but um, these dogs are not hypoallergenic, which means they do shed. They don't shed as much as some others, not as bad as maybe like a Great Pyrenees or something like that. But they do have an undercoat, which can hold dander and other allergens, um, and they do shed. Typically, if you have a full bred flat coat, which I don't, um, they're going to be, if they're a female, they're going to be typically around 55 to 71 pounds and then a male 60 to 79 pounds and then they range from about 22 to 24 inches tall. My flat coat um, weighs about 45 to 50 pounds. He's a little bit on the smaller end and he's a male so he's not full bred. I think he is also part golden. I'm not really sure. I'm going to be doing a DNA test soon so look out for that but um yeah, so flat coats are going to be extremely devoted and optimistic. They're outgoing, friendly, and confident dogs, which is the opposite of me. <laughs> As I discussed earlier, they have that black or liver color to them. Uh, they're also going to have dark brown or hazel eyes, which I'm personally obsessed with. I mean, just look. This is my dog and he is so cute. Look at those eyes. As far as drooling, snoring, barking, and digging go, they're pretty low on that list. They're not really gonna do any of that, um, but the attention is high. So as long as you're giving them the attention and the exercise they need, they shouldn't really cause that much of a hassle. And then also grooming is pretty low as well on that list. They do need to be brushed uh, typically around once a week or once every couple weeks, but not on the daily or anything like that. Because flat coats do have such a specific personality, which is basically that they are super energetic and super friendly, I thought that it would be a fun idea to kind of 
ask other people who have flat coated retrievers and see what they think about the breed. So I messaged some of my friends and just people with flat coated retriever Instagram accounts on Instagram and I asked if they would send me some videos of their dogs. So you can kind of see a range of different flat coats. And I did message some people who have mixed breeds as well. So these are not all full bred. But we'll start with my good friend Sarah. I guess she's not my good friend, but she commented on one of my videos. She used to live in the same city I do. And she and I are now friends. This is her dog. His name is Maple. He's so cute. And he and Maverick have a really similar personality. Maple, do you want dinner? Do you want dinner? Yes. Do you want dinner? In. Maple in! <laughs> go, dogs, go! <laughs> go, go, go! Come on, dogs! And then here's some other of just some really cool Instagram accounts that have flat coats. They all are really excited, outgoing, love to play in the water, love to run around and do things. Hello. So yeah, I'll link all the Instagram accounts that I showed below and thank you guys for sending those videos and kind of explaining what your dog is like. But anyway, so the personality of these dogs, as you can tell, very friendly, very sociable dogs. They thrive on attention and affection and they're actually called the forever young dog or forever puppy. This is because they can actually... Um, act like a puppy well beyond their third birthday. They are very slow to mature and this is how they've gotten that name of the forever puppy. They're pretty intelligent dogs as well as sensitive. As long as you give them the attention they need, give them the exercise they need, they're pretty low maintenance like I was explaining before. Um, I have had Maverick chew on the couch, chew on socks before and he actually is a, a chewy dog. Um, I, the only thing he really has are hard toys because he will chew stuffed animals and toys up, uh, really quickly if they're not. However, that was because I didn't know he was a flat coat when I first got him, wasn't giving him the exercise he needed, so that's what kind of started that behavior. But now that he gets that exercise, he doesn't do any of that anymore. We can leave socks on the ground and he won't touch them. He'll know only to mess with his toys. Also, probably that comes with age. He is um, at the youngest. He's two years old. Um, he could be up to upwards of five years old. We don't really know how old he is. And especially with Flatcoats being a forever puppy, he just 
is very playful. So it seems like he's a young dog, but maybe he's not. I don't know. But here is Maverick. Hey, buddy. Maverick. Can you say hi? Hey, look. Oh. <laughs> Say hi. He rolled in poop yesterday, so he had to get a bath. So you smell really good. See, I smell so good. You want a treat? Anyway, so that was kind of some insight on what flat coated retrievers are like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Stars shine bright